Alex. My name is Adam. My name is Arlene. And uh, we we met. I mean, I met Christ uh, around. I think it was about 12, 13 years old. Uh, my my family was probably one of the would go to church maybe twice a twice a year. The sun, the, I guess you call them the the Easter Christmas type uh, Christians. And, uh, and really, I thought Christianity was just about being a good person and, and maybe not uh, getting in trouble. But uh, at, uh, I was invited to a youth group meeting by a friend of mine who was the son of a pastor. And he, you know, I was at this youth group, meet, youth group meeting. I remember feeling really filthy in my sin, feeling that, man, I, I am definitely not a good person, even though my parents might think I am or... I might be considered a great student or a, a good kid, but uh, in comparison to God's there, I fall way short. And uh, so I felt, I guess, the presence of God there, and I felt the reality of my my need for a Savior. And uh, I uh, surrendered my life to Christ and repent of sin, put my faith in Him, and and He uh, transformed me pretty significantly then. But uh, you know, ever. I've had some ups and downs, but Christ has shown Himself faithful to me, and that really um, helped me to mature and, and become more like Him over uh, over the past 12 or 13 years or so. so. I. I, I listen or I hear about Jesus since I was a child, but I really have a, a strong relationship with God when I think I was 18 years old or more. I, I'll say I, I saw more changes in my life uh, and God changed me, my heart and I love uh, I had more love for God and for His Word, and, and to be, I was able to obey Him in everything He wanted for me. Um, we met in a small rural town in the mountains of uh, central Peru, not too far from Cusco, uh, and. Uh, yeah, I was. We were both doing ministry, or missions, missions work, in these in both in uh, the same area. And I was visiting her church and uh, seeing a st stunning Brazilian woman worshiping God was uh, something that caught my attention. When I was in Peru, I met uh, my my gringo, <laughs> my American uh, guy. <laughs> And, so handsome, and <laughs> just irresistible. But yeah, very important for me in that moment is, oh, he's doing missions too, and he has the passion for serving God. Yeah, God, uh, God gave him grace and brought me, I say, brought me to his country mm -hmm. and blessed me with him. A lot of people to help me, to encourage me, and to receive me like a family, for part of the family, yeah. in Living yeah. Hope Church. And I think during that process help help sanctify us, make us figure out, okay, what what is our greatest treasure? Is it to be married, to have a relationship, or is it Christ is our treasure? Christ is what we live for. And, and, uh, so God used People Living Hope especially to provide a number of things that we need for our home. I didn't have really anything um, uh, coming, uh, and, you know, barely anything I owned would fit all, everything fit in my car. So they helped with a number of things for the home, but we get received great marriage counseling from the pastors. Um, people are quick to, to point us to, to Christ now, His perfect performance on the cross was sufficient for God's standard to meet His standard on our behalf and that uh, and really challenging us challenging us on what, what's our motivation why are we reading the Bible why are we why are we evangelizing and so for people to for us to boast for us to try to rob God's glory which is ludicrous no it's a, it's just an overflow of the heart of our love for Jesus um, 
motivates us to, to serve freely, not to earn God's favor because we already have in Christ. And we act out of our identity in Him. And so it's, uh, I think that the gospel center preaching and emphasis um, has really helped us fix our gaze on Christ more and more. And uh, it's been really helpful. So it's, it's great to see how His yoke is easy. Uh, his burden is light. Why? Because God is providing daily grace to us and just new strength so that we can do all things in Christ and get us strength, not in us.